Good morning, I'm Nikki Stanzione. And I'm Kristen Van Dyke. And this is New Mexico Style. Welcome to the brand new week. It's here yeah. already. It's workout Monday today, too. I know. All Look at us. Ready to go. It's going to be working out just about every session. Holly <laughs> home today. We got our personal trainer, Karen Von Ulst, here today. And, and then we're talking to Dr. Goebel, too, about fitness. Yeah, teeth right? fitness. Teeth. <laughs> who, who knew there was teeth fitness, but there really is. Yeah. Actually, there's, you know, I think in every part of your life, you can look at life as different ways to stay fit. I mean, that, that includes, I think, finances, staying financially fit. Mm -hmm. It includes your body and it includes your mental health. I mean, I think in every area of life. And I think if you can stop for a second and take a deep breath and just kind of get yourself organized in each area of life, we can help you do it. Mm -hmm. Right? We yeah. can help you do it right here on our show. Yeah, we've today, today, today. We it's going to be fun. Yeah, teeth and body. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, what about shopping? Okay, this yeah. weekend was a good weekend to get out and go shopping. Of course, tax free in a lot of areas. But the one thing I really really wanted was my makeup and makeup had tax on it. What the heck? Right. Wait, you and me, I was looking for an HDTV. <gasps> and there was, you don't there get a text, but you know what's funny? You no, don't? no, because it's only stuff for back to school and it's different right. by each state. I was calling, I called my mom uh -huh. in South Carolina. She was like, oh, go grab a TV this weekend. You'll right. get it tax free. No, nope, not in New Mexico, South Carolina. And you know what else? No. Wedding gowns. I don't know if this year, but in previous years, right. tax free weekend, wedding gowns actually tax free. What does that have to do with school? That has nothing to do with school. But she managed a bridal shop and she said, yeah. Interesting. See, yeah, I would think Makeup has more to do with school than a bridal gown. Yeah, but right? no, they're pretty strict about it. They but, uh, are. It's still a lot of people were yeah, out and about were. this weekend. Right? I mean, everywhere you went, there. I'm not used to traffic in New Mexico. There was a little more traffic mm -hmm. than I'm t typically used to. And yeah. a lot of people, you know, were out and about trying to figure out how to deal with their money. And of course, I was talking about being financially fit. Well, lawmakers met the August 2nd deadline to raise the debt ceiling, but Standard & Poor's downgraded the United States credit rating anyway. And the world is watching as U.S. markets open this morning. Fox News correspondent D Jennifer Davis reports from Washington. Finance officials from the group of seven industrial countries held an emergency conference call Sunday night, and they're pledging to do what's necessary to try and keep the global economy stable. Meanwhile, all eyes are on Wall Street to see how it reacts this morning. Several overseas stocks dipped at Monday's opening, with Australia, South Korea, and Japan all taking early hits. But Japan's finance minister worked to quell growing concerns that the downgrade of America's credit rating could rock global financial markets. I believe that U.S. government bonds remain an attractive financial product. Ratings agency Standard & Poor's downgraded the U.S. credit rating one notch Friday from AAA to AA+, changing its assessment of the U.S. government's ability to pay its debt. The agency said political gridlock on display in the recent congressional debt ceiling debate also raises concern about lawmakers' ability to deal with long-term debt. It's about the difficulty of all sides in finding uh, you know, a consensus around fiscal policy choices uh, now and in the future. Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner says S&P showed terrible judgment in lowering the government's credit rating, but S&P had warned four trillion in cuts were needed to avoid the downgrade. Last week, Congress passed a plan to cut just over two. I'm not very surprised at this downgrade. We more or less saw this coming because we're on the wrong fiscal path. The big question for Americans now is what will the downgrade cost them? Some remain optimistic. I don't expect it. we'll pay more for interest rates. The, the downgrade was not an economic event, it was a symbolic and psychological event. As for the Treasury Secretary's future, there had been some signs he might leave his post after the debt ceiling debate, but Timothy Geithner now says he will stay on the job at the President's request. On Capitol Hill, Jennifer Davis, Fox News. Wow. Scary time for us. Really, really scary time for our and country. I, and I was reading that uh, the reason for the downgrade was actually because of just the back and forthness between the two political parties and, and trying to figure something out. So. I just I don't know where there's a solution in sight. Mm -hmm. We've invited Tom Crow from Crow Financial Advisors to join us tomorrow here on New Mexico Style to talk about credit rating downgrade, the potential repercussions, what it can mean for New Mexico families as well as for the nation. So really be sure to tune in because this is a very important topic. A lot of people kind of fuzzy on what's really going on and how it affects us in our own personal lives, but right. this is an opportunity to really get a little insight. Yeah, it'll be good to kind of focus on New Mexico and see how it's going to affect us here. Absolutely. Now, meanwhile, a lot of people beat the heat this weekend at the movies and the rise of the planet of the apes soared to the top of the box office. The action thriller raked in 54 million dollars. The story of how primates evolved to take control of Earth stars 
James Franco. I love James Franco, mm -hmm. by the way. I love him. <laughs> Although I really didn't have any interest in seeing that movie. No, me neither. <laughs> I really didn't, but it did very well, obviously. I mean, you could see, take a look at the screen. Those those apes are uh, taking charge. <laughs> <laughs> they sure are. And that's computer generated, I believe. The yes. last one's not. Right, but. exactly. Well, upholding the number two spot with $21 million is the family fun movie, The Smurfs. La, 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 la. <laughs> and falling into third place is Cowboys and Aliens, the sci-fi western, earning a little more than $15 million, not bad. Ryan Reynolds and Jason Batesman's comedy, The Change-Up, took fourth place with $13.5 million. And rounding out the top five is Captain America, the first Avenger, which earned $13 million. I saw it. You did. You saw it. What did you think of it? I liked it. I, I mean, I was telling Brian, I was telling I liked the um, Thor. I liked Thor a little bit mm -hmm. better. I, You know, the thing I always say when you go to those Marvel movies, you have to stay past the credits because you always get that little teaser exactly. for what's coming next, right? And with Avengers shooting here, I always get extra excited to kind of see mm -hmm. what the thing is. And Samuel L. Jackson, of course, getting a lot of uh, notoriety for being spotted around town lately. And he is a big part of Avengers, which is coming up. But yeah, Captain yes, America was good. It was good. good. You know, good. and I was hurting that, I heard that on a uh, Planet of the Apes, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Uh -huh. that for those of you who are big into Planet of the Apes, there's yes. a lot of like insider stuff. Hmm. Stuff that takes you back to the old days and a lot of uh, little references back to the little other clues. films. Yeah. I like so that. Good stuff for people who follow that, but not on the top list. I think the change-up looks pretty good. It looks good. I saw Crazy Stupid Love as well, which, by the way, it wasn't in the top five of the box office, but I highly recommend it. It was great. Steve good date Carell. Movie? Oh, great date movie. It's a romantic comedy. It's moving. It's touching. It's a little surprising. It's a little funny. You know, Steve Carell is subtly comedic in this movie as opposed to some of his other movies where he's more kind of in your face. In this one, he has a lot of depth his character has a lot of depth, his acting is really deep, but in, in addition to that, he has his little, you know, his little comedic moments that kind of tickle of course, you funny. he has to. Tickle <laughs> you funny. So, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Great movie. Mm -hmm. And a great way, yeah, to beat the heat because it was oh my hot. Gosh. Yeah, yesterday we topped out at 99 at the Sunport, and today so we hot. could hit 100. Ah. <laughs> so, dealing with the heat, no rain in sight anytime soon, but maybe this weekend. Here's a look at the forecast.